Well, it's an important step in raising a child. Every parent looks forward to their kid's first day of preschool. But thousands of kids across the country, they're not in school. They're on hold to enroll and start their education. President Biden laid out a framework to establish universal free preschool for three and four year olds through his Build Back Better agenda. But there is a shortage of teachers to support the high demand of enrollment. In Oregon alone, they were unable to enroll 2,400 of the roughly 6,400 preschoolers it has planned to serve in its tuition free preschool promise program this year. Let's bring in Waymond Hayes, Director of Early Learning and Youth Development Program, Focus Hope. That is in Detroit. He has 22 years of experience with early childhood education. Waymond, your learning center received some federal funding uh, from DHS, but uh, and also from the state of Michigan's uh, program as well. But there's still a problem here because this is not seeming to work for the children who need it now. Do you think it's rooted in another issue that maybe we haven't looked at? So one of the biggest issues is uh, thank you for having me as well. The one of the biggest issues are that uh, teachers are not available. A lot of individuals left the field of early childhood education uh, and went into the public school system when they had a teacher shortage or uh, individuals that retired. So the biggest issue are is not enough teachers at this time. And we really have to figure out a way to attract teachers back to this field, to talk about the importance of vested in individuals' education, and as well uh, give a higher pay rate for the teachers. How do parents feel when you've talked to them about this? How concerned are they? Parents are concerned because education and early childhood education are very important to the child development. Um, and with the not enough investments inside of the uh, to the teachers, parents are really concerned. Kids are going to kindergarten not prepared. We still try to catch up um, pre post di uh, pandemic. Uh, so parents are really concerned. You are part of a group of uh, preschool directors who questioned how the money will be spent if uh, President Biden's universal pre-K plan passed. So what are your major concerns? My major concern is the investment would not go into the teachers. Right now, teachers are struggling. A lot of teachers uh, don't receive uh, quality pay. Uh, and so teachers are really not interested in going to that field. Anytime we get receive a dollar, uh, extra dollar amount into teaching, uh, a lot of system change come into effect that the money really don't get passed down to people that need it. And that's in investment into the staff, investment into the facilities. So a lot of teachers and uh, individuals that want to get in the field just don't. What is a potential solution, do you think? Really to invest in the teachers, that's one of the major solutions that we need to figure out how to do that and attract people back to the educational field. But to make it universal, to add more kids to the system where you have the lack of teachers, is not the best decision at all. But but for parents who are in limbo, they, they can't really wait for staff to be back up at appropriate levels. So what, what advice would you give to them, to moms and dads? So really for the parents is to find out ways to really, and literacy is really the most important piece, reading to their kids. If you don't, if you can't find a location that's really a quality location for your child and figure out things you can do at home, is reading to your kids, talking to your kids, Give your child different experiences and focus on the child milestone. Uh, if you cannot find great locations, but if you, but if you could, um, you know, find one and really invest and support that uh, school system that your child are in. Well, and certainly there are a lot of parents who have to raise kids and work a job, and it's costly to have childcare today. Uh, so they're kind of just waiting and, and hoping that they can juggle all of that. Raymond Hayes, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.